so bank nifty has opened gapped up so has nifty so yesterday's plan of you know opening on these levels and and going for a selling that has gone for a toss so right now today we're going to look for a buying setup but let's see you know how the uh, market sort of creates a structure and according to that we'll create our position so let's wait and watch i think i'm going to go for a retracement sell off but for that <laughs> market has to go a little bit up so i'm going to create a 44500 put and 40 44600 i think yeah So let me just show you the positions which I have made. I've gone into selling, and uh, here is my uh, Bank Nifty position, which is running at a loss right now. And on my virtual account, here is another position, which is again running at a loss right now. So what I'm assuming is, you know, because we have opened at a resistance, there would be a certain retracement, and it would come down to these levels. Of course, you know, it's all a probability game. We could get our 150 points still on these levels. uh but again this is you know surviving uh, uh above 44500 so it's quite risky as well but i saw a breakdown in sort of nifty which gave me a little bit of a confirmation that it might but right now it's leaving all these uh, upper wick candles so that is going to be a trouble for me i at least want something till the day is closing but if the market starts going up from here then we'll cut short our position and get out of the market as simple as that uh, the trade is pretty simple again because it's open to gap up that's a big problem for me because i wanted to see you know a certain uh, level of uh, retracement out there let's see um we've come to zero position right now um losses have reduced a little bit but still you don't know like how it's going to function it might just like take support over here and then go up um we should have gauged with this a little bit more the 44500 levels uh but then again we are operating under the camrilla lines as well um we are all we were solely relying on this sell off which was wrong like you know we should have waited for some more confirmation um and obviously for nifty to have a breakdown uh, not breakdown as as well just like crossing the days low was a sign of weakness as well for me but then again when uh, both of them you know both of the indices are going down it's it's sort of a bit of a trouble uh well let's see let's see and watch you know um always the learning starts afterwards so it's going to be a good thing after we decide you know how the how we sort of analyze the market what mistakes we did hello so this is what happened um we cut short the position out here at around 1 lakh uh and we cut short a position out here we couldn't exit uh, the thing what happened out here was a uh, internet mishap my computer just suddenly shut down in between and then restarted the stuff again so that was one of the problem which happened and we i switched on the computer saw profits of 1000 to 2000 rupees because of this big fall out here and i tried to book multiple times but it wouldn't book yeah that is something which we have to notice as well that sometimes internet issue could happen computer issue could happen um the broker issue could happen so these are the things which we have to start noting down you know so that was one of the problems which happened and so yeah on my virtual account i have booked around 1 lakh on my other account as you can see we have booked around 400 rupees so we had our analysis straight we wanted we we went into selling and we wanted it to come to these buyers and sellers now it might take a retracement from here sadly um because of the internet issues because of these uh, the audio issue um i was unable to you know book some good profits out here or else we would have been uh, doing really good 